Together with a team of international astronomers, including quite a lot of my PhD students and postdocs from the Kai Leuven, we have made a breakthrough discovery in stellar evolution. So what's all about? You potentially know that our Sun is a very little yellow star. And in roughly 5000 million years from now, the Sun will become a red giant star. Its size will increase by a factor of 200, its luminosity by a factor of 1000, and it will become cooler. And as such, it will change from color from yellow to red. And during that phase, we know that stars lose a lot of mass by a stellar wind. Now, actually, after that red giant phase, our Sun will become a planetary nebulae and it will die as a very little white dwarf. Now, planetary nebulae, you potentially have seen already very nice pictures on these. These planetary nebulae have been imaged by, for instance, the Hubble Space Telescope, and you can see a lot of very complex morphologies. We have disks, you have bipolar outflows, you have even planetary nebulae that look like a butterfly. But already for more than a century, astronomers were wondering how can a star as our Sun, which is more perfectly round than a billiard ball, how can it get these complex phases? We have used the ALMA telescope in Chile, the largest radio telescope in the world, to look at the stellar winds of red giant stars. We have seen that each of these winds, of which we thought in the past that they were spherically symmetric, we have seen that each of these winds harbors a lot of complexities and that the morphologies in these stellar winds resemble the morphologies that we see in the planetary nebulae. And this led to the first conclusion, that it should be the same physics that shapes both the stellar winds and this planetary nebulae, and as such that we have caught the mechanism in action. But moreover, we could use all of this data to make categories in the stellar wind morphologies. And that led to the second and even most important conclusion that we finally could diagnose the cause of these morphologies. We think that each of these stars do not live their life alone, but has a companion. And then you can compare it with a cup of coffee and some milk, and when you stir in it with, a, with your little spoon, you can create a spiral structure in your coffee. Well, actually, the companion is doing the same. It goes around the red giant star and it creates a spiral structure, a very complex spiral, in the stellar wind. It can also create a disk, for instance. So what does it imply for our own Sun? Well, actually, our simulations show that, yeah, unluckily, our own Earth will be engulfed by our Sun when the Sun is a red giant star. Planets as Jupiter can survive, and Jupiter, for instance, will create a very weak spiral structure in the stellar wind of the Sun once it is a red giant star. So this research is a breakthrough discovery since it changes our view on how stars evolve at the end of their lifetime.